Hi everyone, I am Marie, welcome to French Core. I have for you today another kettlebell full body workout. It is high intensity, so you can make sure you will be working on your muscles strength and endurance, and also your cardiovascular endurance. But like usual, I will have a link in a corner, a lower intensity for some of the exercise. So you can pick and choose which version you wanna do, the lower intensity, or you follow me on the main screen. We will be 40 seconds into each of our exercise, followed by 15 seconds of rest. During that rest period, you will see the preview for the exercise coming next. So that will just give you the time to see what's coming next, pick the right kettlebell for that exercise, and I highly suggest you to have different kettlebell ready to use in front of you so you can be more efficient during this workout. Our workout today has five different blocks. Each block has four exercises. We will be repeating each of those blocks two times. But like I said at the beginning, we are 30 seconds in, 15 seconds off. It would be pretty easy to follow me because you see every time what's coming next. All right, let's get ready. Let's start with our warm up. Let's start with our arm rotation palm facing up and then palm facing down. Let's keep moving like this. Switch hands. Now brace your core, hands together, trunk twister. One more. All right, open your legs, shoulder wide apart, come back down, open your knee on each side. One more time here. Extend your right leg, keep your hands on the ground and I want you to stay low and move to your right side. My left toe is gonna point up to the sky and I'm gonna stay here for a second and then I switch, go to the left side, your right toe are pointing up. This is a local Cossack squat. So we're gonna keep moving like this for three more times. This is one, two, and three. All right, come up on your all four. Palms on the ground. You're gonna move forward and backward. We're gonna warm up our wrist. Finger facing each other. Want you to move from side to side. And give me some little rotation with your body from each side. Finger pointing facing me. And again, rotation on the right. And then we go on the left. Come at the end of your mat, rotate your arms up, bring it down from your head to your neck to the top of your shoulder, fold all the way down to your feet, walk your hand to the front of your mat, stay here in a plank position for a second, open your leg wide, we're gonna go into a downward dog, knee bend alternately, keep on moving like this, come back into a plank, we pause for a second. Now right hand is gonna go touch the left ankle. So come into a downward dog position. Go touch your left ankle. Come back to a plank. When you're on a plank, I want your shoulder to pass your wrist so we can warm up those wrists and those shoulder at the same time. Then now we switch, we go touch the next ankle. Again, one, two, three, four, two more, five, and six. Come back into your downward dog, walk your hand back. Face me, shoulder wide apart again, 
Bring your hands down to your mat. You're gonna raise from your hip only for one. Come back. Two. Three. Four. One more time. And five. Bring your feet together. Just a little bit wider. So I want you to work on your hip hinge movement. Finger with each other. Come back down. We're gonna pretend that we're doing a swing. So back is straight. You are moving only with your hip. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now give me a squat. Give me an inch. Squat and an inch. Again, squat. One more hinge. All right. Okay, let's activate our cardio a little bit. So give me some butt kick. Come at the end of your mat, skaters, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, coming to 10 jumping jump. That's one, two, three, four. Like usual, knee up, let's go. Nice, join me on the mat, we're starting right now.
For the next one, we're gonna be doing the same thing with our left hand. If you don't feel comfortable to do the burpee with one hand, do your burpee with two. All right, start the same position. Right arms by my back, left hand up. I land with my left hand and then I do my push up.
I'm switching on my knee. Okay, for the next exercise, you're gonna need a very light kettlebell. You'll see what I mean. I'm on the wall, squat all. Be very intentional with those movements. So I am crushing this kettlebell with my hands and I'm pulling, 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 pulling the weight down, creating that resistance. And we're gonna move it like this for the entire second remaining. Push, push, push. Create the resistance. Push up. Bring it down. Resist. Whoa, that's a killer. Ready? Yeah. 
Right side lunge. Take your time, pass it under. Bring your feet, upright row. Resist to go down. And keep on moving like this. Again, be very intentional, create this manual resistance, crush that bell in between your hands. Five more seconds here, guys. Push, push, push.
Okay, come down into a downward dog. We're gonna go for swing push up. More your, more your wrist is underneath your shoulder to do the swings push up, harder it is. All right, swing, swings push up. Come and grab your bell, touch the front, touch the back. Swings, switch arms, grab your bell, touch in the front, touch in the back. Nice and slow here. And again, left leg, nice and slow. Roll with your left arm. I will be a lifeline. Don't 
Nobody's meant to be fighting alone That's why I'm taking you home I never felt something like this before, I know Keep coming back for your time after time Maybe I'm losing my mind But I know I'll never leave you behind, no Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove Yeah That baby, I got you No matter the distance No matter the rules Yeah Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove Yeah That baby, I got you no matter the hoops, yeah Baby, I got you Cheating. Keep it in your hands in front of you.
I'm grabbing my kettlebell like this. I hook the arm around my thumbs. Squat. Be careful not to hit your face. Press up and then tricep extension. Watch your face. Come back down. Press up. Stop my clock. Good job. I will be doing a cool down, so you have time to wipe your sweat. During that time, if you enjoyed the workout, please consider to subscribe. It helps my, ch my channel to grow, and I thank you in advance for being with me today and working out with me. Um, if you if you don't know me, go take a look at the channel. I have many other workouts, some are with kettlebells, some are with dumbbell, or 
70 your body weight. So go take a look. It's worth the try. Arms up. <sighs> Exhale down to your legs. Come in front of your mat. We're gonna go into a downward dog. And we're gonna chill. And breathe for a couple of seconds here. You can alternate your knee if you want. Bring your foot together. Right arm, right arm, right leg to the sky. Bring the leg in front of you. And now I want you to extend into your pyramid. We're gonna take the time here to stretch our legs. Your right leg, go on your heel, toe pointing to the sky. Come back into your pyramid. Point your toe up to the sky again. Arms down to your mat. Bring your right leg back. Come back into a downward dog. Left leg up. Bring it in front of you. And come into your pyramid pose. And you're gonna stay here again. Take the time to stretch our legs. Lift those two up. Bring it back down to your pyramid. Two up again. Now I'm just gonna switch here. I'm gonna be facing you. Again, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna slightly bend my knee and rock from side to side to stretch my hamstring. Bring your hands to the floor. Straight those knee up, go as low as you can. And stay here for a moment. Come back up. I want you to cross your leg and you're gonna go down as low as you can. I'm gonna stay here. Come up, switch side. I'm dripping all over my mat. Go down again. So of course when you, we are doing those stretching, we don't have the same flexibility, we don't have the same range of motion. So I want you guys to go to where you're capable of doing. All right? Child pose. Extend those fingertips in front of your mat. Deep breath in. Fill your lower back full of hair. I want your shoulder to be away from your hair. You're gonna grab, I'm gonna be facing you. So you're in a child pose. Right arm is gonna go underneath your left arms. Stay here for a second. Then you're gonna switch left arm underneath you, right arm. I want you to come on your tippy toe to stretch those toe a little bit. Interlace your finger, shoulder away from the ear. Bring your hands down, back, 
Interlace all your finger. Stretch. Open your chest. If you can, grab your heel and stretch even more. I'm going to come back to a child pose here. Come up into a plank. And upper dog. Stay here. One, two. Exhale down to the lower dog. Open up. Now face me. We're going to go stretch the side of our body and you're gonna also feel it in your lo lower back. So open your leg as much as you can. What I like to do is I'm gonna start putting my hands in front of you. You might be here, you might be here, or you might be even further than me. So you go as far as you can. I'm just worry, you guys cannot see me. I'm gonna back up a little. Go as far, far as you can and stay there. And then what I like to do is, slightly I'm gonna move. I'm gonna make sure I extend as much as I can my left arm. And I'm gonna breathe into the side of that body. You're also gonna feel it in your lower body also. Walk your hands again toward your feet. Keep stretching. Now if you can grab the front of your feet face. Make sure your toe are pointing up. That leg is all to the ground so you can stretch that leg at the same time. Now if you want even more of a side stretch, bring your right elbow inside your leg, grab your toe, rotate your torso, left arm up and try to go touch that toe. And stay there for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna walk back again. Middle, I'm gonna pause here. And I'm gonna walk my hands, pause to the other direction. Keep pointing those two up to the sky because you wanna stretch that leg at the same time, as well as your right, the right side of your body. Walk again. Come and grab your left foot. Now again, left elbow inside, grab your foot, right arm to the sky and try to go rotate your torso facing me and try to go touch your toe. One more time in the middle here. You should feel yourself going even more lower at this point. All right, and to finish this, I like to do my straight leg. Bend down and stay there for a moment. All right, so that was it for today. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you for a next workout. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.